One of the major issues is, we, uh, is the lack of adequate mental health services in the community. And so what we're hearing over and over again across the model for change states are the large numbers of youth who are coming into the juvenile justice system primarily because of their inability to access services within the community. For many of us, we simply look at juveniles as one large group. And I think an understanding that there are youth who are there for whom the juvenile justice system is not being helpful neither in terms of the youth themselves, but also in terms of community safety. So things like building in effective screening and assessment services, making sure that when we provide uh, programs to youth that they are the best programs available based on the best information that we have, that in fact the justice system, mental health system, substance abuse system, education system, everybody's really working together to help bring about change. I think what the Models for Change initiative does is that it working by working in a concentrated way within those four states we're going to be able to identify some of those answers and then be able to really spread those answers not only within those four states but to, across the entire country.